LeBron, that's just kind of Steph Robert Curry reacts to getting ejected tonight in Game to Six. Um, you know, it's obviously frustrating be fouling out in the fourth quarter of a, of a clinching game and um, not being out there with my teammates. So we got the best of me, but um, you know, I'll be all right for the next game. Kerr said he was actually happy that you showed that emotion. I mean, do you think you're funneling this energy and do you want to be angry going in game time? Do you want your teammates to be angry? Do you want Kerr to be angry? No, I mean, we have to show some fire for game seven. That's it's a great opportunity for us at home in front of our fans to, again, try to you know win a championship. So um, we're going to need some emotion and some, some grit and toughness for that game. Um, I had some stuff I wanted to get off my chest tonight after the way the game went, and, and that was it. Diamond over here. Diamond Leon Barry News Group. Steph, what were you feeling as you walked off the court? It looked like you kind of maybe had a smile on your face at the ridiculousness of the, the whole thing, but I was just curious, uh, what was it like making that walk all the way back here, and what did you do in the, the locker room afterward? Thankfully, I didn't have much time. I just sat in my chair. I'd never been ejected before, so it was a weird feeling, but... Um, it was just frustration and also kind of, like you said, I thought it was kind of hilarious the way the, the you know, the, the last two fouls and me blowing up kind of unfolded and um, some of the things that were said out there. So it's just kind of, you know, it's a, it's a long walk because you, you want to, one, you don't want to foul out, you don't want to get ejected, you want to be out there with your teammates. Um, but I immediately kind of started thinking about game seven and, and just, you know, the opportunity. We, we got one game to, to, to win it all, and you got to take advantage of it. Tim, standing on the left. Tim Reynolds of the Associated Press. Seth, when you guys go 73-9, and nine, obviously there isn't a whole lot of adversity in a season like that. I mean, it, it wasn't easy. You guys made it look easy, but it obviously wasn't. The adversity you guys are going through now, though, the frustration you've talked about, can that fuel you almost, you know, going into Sunday, or is it best push to the side and try to go, try to get ready for Game Seven with a clearer head? No, that's why we're in the finals. We were in adversity last series, down three-one, and had to rattle off three straight wins. So things haven't gone our way, despite you know how the regular season went. The, you know, the, the league got to do the right thing. They got to suspend Steph Curry, man. Had this been anybody else, y'all know damn well they'll be getting yeah, suspended. I want to see Steph Curry suspended for Game 7. You better know I'm calling the league office. Don't make no mother-loving sense, man. Get this guy out of there for Game 7. He don't need to be playing Game 7. You hit a fan, he needs to be suspended. Necessary adjustments to uh, to slow them down a bit and get our offense going so that we can, you know, take advantage of, of our home court. But nothing about our playoff run has been perfect, and uh, that that's kind of the consistent thing right now. We got a, another opportunity on on uh, Sunday. David, back left. Steph, the last two games, LeBron's really controlled the game, both scoring and passing it. Getting out of transition and creating opportunities for himself and other people. What has he been doing the last two games, and how do you get in front of him and try to keep him under control? He's playing great. He's doing uh, things that are game changing and make, you know, helping his team win. So um, he's been more aggressive. I think you know shooting the ball, and we've had some breakdowns, but you know he's. He's played well. There's no two ways around it. So um, tip your hat to him and come out Sunday with an aggression to hopefully clog some some uh, driving lanes early, not let him get a rhythm. Um, you know, try to make him as uncomfortable as you can, force him in as, as many tough shots as you can, live with the results. Um, you just play with you know toughness for 48 minutes while we're out there and. We, we can do it. We've shown we can do it, and uh, excited for that opportunity. Ron over here on the right. Ron Kurchik from the San Francisco Chronicle over here. Um, two quick questions. What did LeBron say to you after he blocked his shot? You, you seemed like you were kind of smirking on the way back to the bench. And secondly, how do you explain what happened in the first quarter? They fed off their team's energy, uh, ener uh, their crowd's energy. And, you know, we – 
Damn, it Steph Curry stuttering like a motherfucker six, tonight. Six minutes. I guess a good ass whooping to do that to you. Three or four minutes of the game, but it was like six nothing. So it was, that's that's nothing for us. Um, but at that point, um, you know they they hit some open threes. We turned the ball over. They got in transition, and obviously foul trouble changed our our uh, rotation. So. Um, they pretty much won the game again in the first quarter, like they did in game three. We made plenty of runs and, and clawed our way back to within eight, I think twice, gave ourselves a chance, but on the road, we, we've learned that lesson before and we learned it again tonight. When you get down that much in the first quarter, it takes so much and so many things have to go right to get back into the game. So, um, just didn't go our way. What about LeBron, the block when he obviously was... What well, you? What did what did he say? What did, oh. what, 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 even if it's not specific, just the general gist of his message. Nothing. Mark on the left. Steph, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Just to follow up, it seems like LeBron has taken a particular delight to blocking your shot tonight, blocking your layup after the buzzer, after the whistle the other night. He seems to be really kind of targeting you in some ways. Are, have you felt a little bit of his juices sort of directed exactly at you? In this series, he's made two good plays on on uh, a fast break and and obviously tonight on that block uh, made great defensive plays. However, he wants to celebrate or whatever he wants to do to kind of take in that moment. It is what it is. Um, I stay aggressive. Don't let that try to get in my head. Obviously, he's pretty athletic, so he's capable of doing that. Got to got to make adjustments. How would you explain the dynamic between you? You're two of the players that are considered in the debate of the best player on the planet. What's been the dynamic as that has unfolded here in this series? Um, I mean, he's he's had two great games to keep his team alive, and um, you know, that's that's what he's supposed to do. And I'm out there, you know, trying to do the same for my team. Um, we don't go one on one at each other a lot, but it's a it's a pretty competitive feeling out there, you know, with the situation of playing in the finals and playing for something special. So, um, at the end of the day, seven games um, to figure out who's going to be holding that trophy on on Sunday. You got to love that kind of environment. So, you guys in the comment yeah, section, man, y'all let me know. Do you think Steph Curry is going to get suspended for Game teams, Seven? But I'm hoping that he gets suspended. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Like, comment, and subscribe on the video. What has changed uh, that any team would beat you guys three games out of four? And mostly convincingly, I don't think anyone would have seen that the entire season, including the playoffs. What are you guys not doing so well? What is Cleveland doing so well? What has changed and what needs to change for you come Sunday? Um, the last two games... Obviously, miss, you know, not having Draymond was different for us. Not an excuse for us losing, but different because of the rotations and, and whatnot. And we kind of stalled down the stretch of that game um, offensively. And we haven't gotten enough stops in the last two games, you know, consecutively. To, to and Steph Curry got to get suspended, um, man. Had this been any other game. player, y'all so, know they suspended Udonis Haslam when he did that shit, man. Through that mouth guard. Course, it got to get him. They got to get Steph Curry. Get him out of there for game seven. I don't want to see him. Get him out of there. And I'm out.